Shevsky here. Welcome to Fantasy House. Do you like Adventure Time? Do you like Adventure Time? Do you like MTV Cribs? Do you like MTV Cribs? Well, then you're going to love this podcast. You know why? Because Fantasy House is basically an imaginary MTV Cribs in the Adventure Time universe. Every week, my special guest walks us through their imaginary fantasy house, and it's so much fun. You feel like you're there, and dude, they usually blow. they usually blow my mind. I know that sounded like I could go anywhere when I started the sentence. They usually blow, and then people are sitting there going like, what do they usually blow, John? And then I said, my mind. This week, my guest is amazingly hilarious, Nathan Hurd. And I don't use that word lightly. This guy is a killer on stage. He's a road dog of mine. He's always killing it on stage. He's always up at the comedy store. We always go out to different places all over uh, on the road together and entertain. And we have a ton of fun in the car talking. And this guy is, he's just the best. I love Nate. He's weirdo. I love teasing him. He's really fun to tease. He makes it easy to tease. And you guys probably, you've probably seen him. He's on Legion on Netflix. He's on American Horror Stories. And he's on my mind all the time because he's my Nate dog. And he thinks that the movie Talladega Nights is better than the movie Step Brothers. So first off, that's my first, uh, my first roast of him. Because uh, if you think the Talladega Nights is better than Step Brothers... <laughs> You need to go back to comedy school. Do you guys like He-Man Sword? How about selfie photo booths? How about the movie Top Gun? Oh, then you are going to like this episode. This episode is for you. Now in the words of the great Angelo Bowers, let us do this. Won't you take us on a grand old tour of your fantasy house? You're the hostess with the Moses for your guests in your fantasy house. Ring, ring, ring. That's your doorbell, Nate. That's my doorbell? That's your doorbell. Oh, man, dude. First of all, first of all, my doorbell is, uh, is motion censored. Okay. So when you walk up, the doorbell automatically goes off. And the, the door, like a lot of these things now that can come to Wait, your- Wait, so I don't even get to ring it? Like I put my hand out to touch the button and you're like- it just There's it, no button. You just, what you approaching my door, <laughs> you approach my door and the doorbell rings in my house. You don't hear nothing. I'm like sitting there like, I'm like, yeah, you I don't hear nothing. The doorbell? You, just, you, don't, you don't hear nothing. What happens is, is that there's a video screen that comes on and uh, a Max Hedrum- Type thing, <laughs> yeah, yeah. A Max Hedrum type thing says like, "Hello," and then you say what you want. It all—it's just automated. It says I, "Hello." Am I puzzled? Am I like, "Is Nate here?" Yeah, you can say that, and then be like, "Oh, I'll check, 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 check." You know what I mean? Like, and then it to me, it comes to my phone, and then my phone is basically it's a two-way mirror. I'm looking at, I'm the camera. I'm looking at who that is. Okay, so you come down right now, or come out to the door. I can, but I can, I can say, I can like video chat, or I can. My when I speak, yeah, into my phone, you don't see my face, you see the headroom voice, yep. And so, whatever I say, it comes through as that headroom voice. Oh, so, that's trick, yeah. I so, like that. So, whatever I so I'm like, all right, man, I'll be down there in a sec. Uh, oh, all right, man, I'll be down there in a sec, you know what I mean? Like, so it's like that. So, you see me, but you see the head, you hear what I'm saying, but you see, yeah, the no, I voice. get it, yeah. Uh, and that's, that's the that's badass. Does the yeah, door and, open? No, 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 that's or? the door. You what? see what I'm saying? Like the door is that. That is badass. Yeah, that is the door. So yeah. the whole door is like a giant LCD screen. Yes. Is that safe? Can intruders get through that though? Like and be like, I'm just gonna break this TV and go into the house. Dude, it's like big ass. Gra- it, it's like a uh, gorilla glass. Okay. But like, like, it's basically reinforced glass. I like that. But it's like you know the glass that they put on, um, uh, like. Armored cars and stuff like that. So you, you okay? Yeah, you, I you, can't even shoot my AK through. No, you can't shoot your. You, Me and Ice Cube will be no, like, I you can't would, even get into this you house. And Ice Cube would be very disappointed if you tried to come to my front door. You don't want to disappoint Ice Cube. No, you don't. Why would you want to? Well, what if he comes in peace though? Like, what if he came with me and we're like, "What's up, man?" If you yeah. and Ice Cube came to my door, man, I would, I would, I would like. I might even have Ice Cube answer the door from some people coming to the door just because I'd like to see that thug voice in my match headroom voice. I see what together. you're saying. You but what, what saying? if he wasn't in the mood? What if he's like, no, I want to do my daddy daycare voice? He's like, motherfucker, you in my house, dog. Oh, wow. Nate, you're going to stand up to Ice Cube like that? In my house, yes. Okay. So yeah. I, so the door's open now, right? Yeah. I walk in. Where the hell are you? I just I'm, talked to a screen. I want to see Nate. You want to see Nate? I am standing. When you first walk into my house, there is a raised pedestal. 
a golden raised rotating pedestal. Okay. Yep. And it is there specifically for it is a medical fact that if you stand in the Superman pose for two minutes, it will actually make you feel better. Serious? Yeah. Le- legit. Like you can literally pass this on right now to the listeners and yeah, make, you, make you, people's lives better. You, standing in there's some certain, value yeah, right here. Absolutely, one hundred percent. There are certain po- there are certain things that you can actually do. If you hug somebody for six seconds, it'll actually make you feel better. If you hug somebody for thirty seconds, it will actually release dopamine. You have to hug people though, guys. Yeah. Stand like Superman. Yeah. And you then, have to do it. But hug them like you can't do it at the same time. No, that'd be awkward. No, you got to right? be very weird to stand in the Superman pose while you're hugging someone. Okay, that'd be very weird. But yeah, so I I use that there. That's there. So every time I leave the house. Mm-hmm. I feel like a badass. I get on that pedestal right before I leave, yep. and I let it rotate me in that Superman pose for a little bit. That's hilarious, but I love it. I, yeah, and that, that's, that's, that's part that's, of your morning that's, miracle. That's part of my morning and my evening miracle. When I get home, you're oftentimes drained. I was just on set. We're doing shows yeah. for fucking 12 hours. You get on there, and you be like, oh, that's right. I am the master of well, my you're universe. All, you're all yeah. exhausted. You've been sitting in traffic, and you're like, I got to just stand on this thing. It's yeah. been around a couple of times, and then I'll be okay. There's even a sword stuck into the thing if i really need to feel brawly and i can just lift it up and say like he man i have the power if i really need to do that that's but that's freaking genius that's only that's occasional you know what i mean like but that's for the most part, so yeah. genius that's, that's also just a great way to be silly and have fun yeah. in life too like and who if you have had if you had that in your you tell me people wouldn't want to get on that Everybody. I think it's amazing. Yeah. I just, you'd probably have to have some sort of insurance because if the sword thing and they fall, they could fall on the sword. It's like running um, with scissors. But yeah, but, but yeah, I mean, it's genius. They came over to my house. So I mean, no, fuck them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's what it says in the contract. Yeah. Do I have to sign a contract before I walk in? No, I'm just joking. You there. might. <laughs> <laughs> you, have a, you have a clause in there. Yeah. It's like if you get hurt here, that's on yourself. That's on yourself, dude. You okay. know what that was. So uh, what, what what does it look like in general? Like what kind of what's what's the flooring like? What are the the, the walls flooring? Like? I want. I, I, like? I like uh, high ceilings. Okay. Very high ceilings. Um, but. Not so high that it looks like I don't want like not cathedral high, just yeah. high enough that. Give me a footage. Was that? Give me a footage. How many feet high? I'm saying like, thirteen. Okay. You know what I mean? Like so, so it's it's high enough that it's yeah, it's high and you but you can still hang stuff from that. But I want the, <laughs> it's all painted. Yeah. The ceilings are painted. Yeah, like, the ceilings like are the painted. Inside of uh, like a Michelangelo came to your house. Yeah, but it's not painted with Michelangelo stuff. No, no. What's the guy? What's the guy? Just painted with my like random stuff that I like. You know what I mean? Like uh, dope ass cars, comic book characters, stuff like that. Stuff that, that you would. And then uh, it depending on the room that you're in, different rooms are painted. Like certain bedrooms are painted with the with the actual night sky that would be outside. Well, tell me when we get to that bedroom. Oh, okay. Nate. All right. Sorry. Okay. We're still in the uh, entrance still in the hall, Nate. Yeah. And so what's, what's I want, the floor? I want what's marble. What's the floor made of? Marble. There's this crushed marble that basically looks like it's it's sparkling. Oh yeah. And in it but it's not. Mm-hmm. And it looks like it's sparkling. It's really sheen. It really looks like it's sparkling. It's almost like glitter is inside the marble. Oh, it's beautiful. And it's this like off white color and it's like streaked with like a little bit like almost looks like butter pecan ice cream. Oh. And but it has these little sparkles in it and that's really what I want. I don't remember whose house I saw it in, but I want that fucking marble in my in my in my foyer. Yeah. Are there any carpets on it or any kind of rugs there? No, not in with? the not in the the um, the immediate walkway. So it makes that sound when you're walking like you're walking yeah, in like yeah, a library yeah. or a museum when you're getting to the front door. Where where's the first room? Where's that where's that bathroom? I got to I got to go pee. So the first thing you notice when you walk in the bathroom is that it's a very light green color. Mm-hmm. Like almost a Almost a neon green, but like painted white. So it's it's very a hint of green, and it's a a lot of plants in the bathroom, and there's rainforest music playing in the bathroom. Like tribal? No, 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 no. Uh, Just tribe? No, almost like 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 sound effects. Yeah, sound effects. Okay. Like so, it sounds like a rainforest. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Exactly. Now you walk in the bathroom, and the first thing you notice is that. don't tell me what I'm going to notice. Oh, okay. I'm just joking. Okay. Go sorry, on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, but no, it's, you walk in the bathroom and there's, you know, it's a it's a personal bathroom. So it's not like a, a hotel bathroom or anything like that. It's a personal bathroom. You walk in the bathroom, you uh, notice that on the left is the sink and it's a, it's a flat sink. It's a sink that basically the water comes out of the faucet, but you can see the water. There's no faucet. It's just coming out from the sink. And so you can see the water trickle down the top of the faucet. Okay. And then it drops into the sink and the sink is flat. Okay. And so, um, so it's, a tr- it's like a modern, like minimalist kind of sink where you're like wowed by the way it works. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. But it's also really cool. And uh, again, porcelain, you know what I mean? Like yeah. it very, very, you know, sheen white, 
nice marble. Uh, and then on the left is the toilet. But uh, the toilet, when you sit down on it, the toilet wrote the, the, the whole toilet is on a track. Mm -hmm. So the toilet actually turns around. Yeah. It turns around. And then you are now facing another LED screen that you can, it, it's a full length. It's the wall. Don't tell me your face is going to pop on, on it while I'm taking a dump. No, no. What's, it's, it's, it matches the sounds that are in the air. So you're now just looking at a rainforest. Oh, wow. Yeah, you're just looking at a rainforest. Oh, that's a trip. Yeah, so you're, you're looking at a rainforest in the bathroom, and then... Is it just rainforest, or can it do different themes? Or it can do different themes. That's why I said that the wall is crushed right, because there's... Uh, um, uh, what, what, is it, what is the thing? The, the projector. Yeah. There's a projector in there. Yeah. So basically, whatever you're looking at, directly looking at, it projects on the outsides of the... Uh, on the walls. So, so the now, people outside the bathroom can see? No, no, no. It, just inside the bathroom. Oh, okay. You so everything, but so yeah. So just even in pr your peripheral, everything behind you looks like what is on this thing. But could not there be as, like a Top Gun theme that I could click because and like and like a, yeah, you could, you could, you could, you could even do. I was, I was I hesitant love that to, every time you sit on the toilet. That would be so dumb. Oh my god! And you just were on an aircraft. Just with the guy like on the plane to take off, go and then as you're launching. Oh, dude, yeah. There's also there's a very soft bidet. Oh yeah. Yeah. And um gotta be clean. And seven ply. Seven ply What's the normal paper. what's the normal ply? I mean you know if you three ply, right? No, most people most people three ply is for when you're balling, okay? Three, three, three ply is when you have made a little You're money. basically wiping your butt with handkerchiefs. Yeah, you're, you've made some money and you're, yeah. you're doing good for yourself, all right? Uh two ply is what you wanna get. You know, if you you know, what do you, one ply is for failures. Okay, that's what that is for. Or the French, the French have one ply. The French, the French, are, yeah, they're the French. Come on, no, the them. French are pretty fancy. No, fuck the you French. Ever had okay. They're pretty one, fancy. One ply toilet paper okay. is for degenerates. Okay. Right? So seven ply toilet paper. It okay. feels like you're wiping your ass with silk. Sounds Beautiful. very wasteful, but I'm willing to try it. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. But if you have a bidet, you don't really have to wipe that much, right? Yeah, no, you, you don't. You don't really. Yeah, you don't dry, really have basically. to wipe that much. But this is it's a shower still, for your tuch. There's no such thing as hemorrhoids in this bathroom. It will. They will not be I made in this so. bathroom. In this bathroom, it will, it just feels like it's so good. People come into the bathroom just to wipe their ass. They I don't even it. have to. I love it. Yeah. Okay. Is there a shower in there, or is it just the? No, toilet? it's just the toilet inside. That's the, that's the downstairs party bath. That's the bathroom that people use at parties. Okay. You know what I mean? So it's a big bathroom, so more than one person can fit in there, but there's only one stall. Yeah. There's only one toilet. So, so I let's say I went in there and used that bathroom. I did my Top Gun themed yeah. uh, bathroom uh, situation. Yeah. I washed my hands. Oh, also, this bathroom is sound. All all the bathroom, most of the bathrooms, uh, not all, are soundproof. Yes, they're uh, soundproof. Yeah. So nobody hears the God plops. God bless you, Nate. Nobody hears the plops, and the fa and, and there's a super industrial fan uh -huh. that is in the back of the bathroom that not only pumps in fresh sense of the forest yeah so not so it's not like fresh smell it's not like can, it, not, do, can it pump in jet jet fuel smell though if it, I'm can, doing yeah, the it, no, it can pump in whatever okay. you want okay. whatever smell okay. it's an artificial smell but whatever, whatever smell you want pumped in it okay. can do that burning rubber jet fuel smell but Go before on. it does that Should while it's doing on? that it's filtering the air it's constantly filtering the air so it never smells like poop. So basically, if I go and use your restroom at your mm -hmm. house, mm -hmm. I never have to feel like that weird shame that you have. You're like, oh man, I hope I don't stink up. No, you don't I'm ever have to feel that again. Right now. You don't ever have to f feel like somebody is listening to you ploppies. That's you another really You don't have to. I'm nobody very shy. Will, nobody who, most people that. are, which is weird since everybody, literally everybody, everybody poops. poops. And everybody's ashamed of poop. Yeah, which well, is it's crazy. Still, it's still weird. It's, yeah, well, I mean, yeah, I guess. It's still weird like if people can hear you. Like I think it's probably the, one of the worst things being caught doing is, is taking a poop steep. Which is weird since it's the only thing we, like we all, if you're not pooping, that's a problem. You know what of I mean? Course. Like this. But I mean, I don't. I don't mind if someone walks in on me peeing. I'm like, hey, how you doing? All the conversation. But if yeah. I'm pooping, I'm like, I am so sorry. What you witnessed back there. I, I'm so sorry that my body is expelling waste. Yeah, I am so thing, apologetic. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's yeah. a primal thing or if it goes back to our childhoods or what. I think it's. I, mean, I think it's. I think it's because here's the thing. It's not like that. I've I've talked to a lot of people. It doesn't seem to be like you that. You talk to a lot of people about poop, don't you? Yeah, I do. I As do. a comedian, we talk to a lot of people about poop. I talk to a lot we're, of people. That we're poop. all Larry David. We are all yeah, we're, fucking pooping. We're all just talking about taking a. Dump. Talk, taking it, taking it, taking it up. Is taking that it up. Reference is Larry David talking about taking. I, mean, I have no idea. I don't. He's an old Jewish guy, so I just. I figured. I, I, that's that's pretty much where I was going. Right? I, I assumed 
that he's Jewish and he's an old and he's a man, so he probably talks about his cons- consistency right? quite a bit. They, yeah, right. I remember an episode of Curb where they asked him about the, he was lying about having a bunch of uh, pears and going on a pear farm to his dentist, and he says that I was at his, ah, I got the runs. So I'm thinking Larry David always talks about poop. I don't even that one experience. I feel like he always talks about poop, uh, and, but we always talk about poop too. I mean, we always talk about and, poop. And why should we be ashamed, Nate? We all do it, right? We all, we all fucking it's do important. it. It's important, and it has to do with our health, and it's it, we all do we, it. It's a it, yeah, it's a, it's a it's it's a crazy thing. To, it's the real how's the weather? How about them Dodgers? Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm. All right, so I, I'm out of the bathroom now, right. and luckily no one knows what I did in there. Nobody knows what you did. They know you had a great <laughs> no time. No one knows in there. I ate a lot of fiber, and I've been uh, chowing down on a ton of hummus, mm. uh, which is nice to just feel like I don't have to be ashamed of how the bathroom smells when I leave. Nope. And uh, do you want to take me to the kitchen? Oh, the kitchen. Show me that kitchen, baby. Oh, the kitchen, dog. sir. Oh, Ooh. beautiful. First of all, the kitchen and dining room are separate. Yeah. And because I have, uh, I have a kitchen, uh, I have a dining room, and then I have a formal dining room. Okay. Um, the kitchen is a fairly standard kitchen, aside from the appliances that are in it. Also, I have a chef. Mm-hmm. I have uh, I have two chefs actually. Mm-hmm. Uh, one chef is for um, cooking me. My, you know, g- food that I ha- that I should eat because I'm trying to be healthy. He's my he's my nu- more of a nutritionist. You know what I mean? Like he's a he's a guy who cooks me my like like my uh, uh, when I have to eat salads or I have to eat chicken. I'm trying to c- you lose weight. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. You know stuff like that. He's the guy who cooks the really really high class, tasty food. What's his name? Was that his name is Miguel? Miguel. His name is Miguel. Miguel, your healthy chef. My healthy chef. All right. I like that. Um, my other chef though. Uh oh. He's a dirty boy. I was just gonna say, this your dirty chef. This is dirty, dirty. Shit's gonna get fried. Shit's gonna, yes. Sorry. There's gonna be a lot yeah. of salt and sugar yeah. on this one. Isn't there? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Miguel. We've had a real nice week. Oh yeah. It's cheat day. Oh, sir. What's the name of this chef? What's that? Oh, it, it, I don't even know his name, but it, he has, it has to be something <laughs> dirty. It is something <laughs> it primal and dirty. His name, like he Frank, or you know what I mean, like or 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 Carl or, the dead. The oh death chef. yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, oh, like dude. Uh, Bob. Uh, Bob Ham Hawks Johnson, you know what I mean? Oh, like yeah. it's fucking, it's got to be something filthy, like in in every uh, in every. Bob look like? I need Bob, to describe oh, Bob, him. Bob looks like. Now see, he's a dark. He's dark skinned I don't know if he's black. I don't know if he's white. But you're he's allowed wh- to say he's a dark because you're black, Nate. But if he's I said dark. he's a dark, <laughs> Chesky, I uh, um, sir, very uh, disappointed. <laughs> I had no idea Fantasy House would be so racial. <laughs> He's uh, a dark skinned guy. He's one of those dudes that you like, dude, are are you dirty or are you black? You know what I mean? Like one of those, like maybe a Cuban, but he looks like just he's just paint the picture for our listeners. Dude, dude, I can't I'm, help you with this one. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, he's a he's a dark he's a dark dude. He looks like all of his like he looks like he's covered in soot and smoke. Okay. From oh, the because, food. Well, yeah, because of smokers? The, Is he yeah. a smoke pit guy? Oh, pit dude, yeah, he's, no, he he everything disgusting that is glorious in life, he knows how to cook that. Wow. Okay. Now I also have a pastry chef. What's it? Wait. What's his signature dish? What his signature dish? Um, he doesn't have a sp- specific signature dish, but he knows how to cook pork. That's his. He's. Is he's, that your favorite? Yeah. So 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 your your dirty chef has to know how to cook he, pork. He one hundred has to know. This guy knows a hundred different ways to cook pork. And in, in juxtaposition, in contrast, is does does your does Miguel your healthy chef? Mm-hmm. Does he does he look like a million dollars? Is he like an AC Slater looking dude with like muscles and veins popping out of him? And uh, maybe that's a bad example. An Arnold Schwarzenegger dude? Who's, who's no like Miguel? Miguel is dude? Miguel is more along the lines of, uh, hmm. He's not like uh, you know the the high. He's a high end chef, but he's also the high end chef that understands that food should taste good. So he yeah. he, he doesn't have that. <clears throat> I just want to know what he looks like so I can describe. We got oh, okay. a picture to okay, our paint a picture. All right. This whole so, show's about so, just like so, the picture. So Miguel looks more like um, who would Miguel look like? Miguel looks more like uh, what's what's his name? The 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 chef on Ratatouille. Okay. The the main character, okay, the yeah. red haired, yeah. fucking long nose. Yeah, he yeah. looks like that. That's what Miguel looks okay. like. He's like he's kind of a weird looking dude. Okay, but he just cooks great food. Good. He's got no accent. 
That's great. You know what I mean? Like he's like, dude, I just made you your green shake. And he, like, he thanks, Miguel. Yeah, That's exactly. No problem, bro. He travels. He, he what he does is he just like he he got taught in like France and Italy uh, how to become a chef, and then he just traveled the world finding healthy ways to cook food because his because his grandma was you know unhealthy and she had diabetes and she wanted to you know so he's just like just quite like the a, backstory. Yeah, dude, heard. just like a genuinely good guy, and he just like I hired him and was like, dude, I want you to cook me food, and he'll cook come you know he'll come over and he'll cook my food. So he for, doesn't live there. He comes over to cook and then leaves he he lives there but he doesn't live like in my house he lives on the property okay I have, a, I have a 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 i have servants quarters okay that's uh, very cool okay so he he's just there so is your kitchen basically did the you kitchen, let them pick how it's designed? Yeah, the, the kitchen is pretty much designed how they would like it designed. What, what does it look like? Like, what kind of flooring? Is it industrial? Is it a French kitchen? Is it it's like, more of a, it's more of an industrial. Ki- it's more of a like a French, commissary. Yeah, in your like house? F- well, more of a French industrial kitchen. It's it's a friendly. Oh, wow. ki- yeah, it's taking it's, my suggestions and combining them. I like yes. your style. Well, name. it's it's a very uh, well. My sister is my sister and brother in law are chefs. Oh yeah, yeah. In France, well, you're talking to a chef ski. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'm you're talking really to surrounded a, by the chef ski. But no, so it's more of an industrial postmodern kind of. Thing. like um um there there's high tech gadgets like the you know the the uh, the for Miguel his they each have their own parts of the kitchen yeah so they each have their own stoves and stuff like that and they obviously have smokers the smokers are actually in the kitchen but all the smoke is outside okay because the the way that the the way that the um the air for fritur- the air, air filtration system works that's how it works but with miguel his kitchen is more like he has automated uh, blenders he has autumn he could just tell the blender okay i want you to blend on 360 for five minutes he can just tell the oven you know preheat to this he you know just voice commands. yeah a lot of voice commands on miguel's part of the kitchen and then for uh you know i'm gonna start calling my other chef's name is chunk that is his name all right so he's if on chunk's side of yeah. the kitchen Everything is bare hands. Like he uses his hands for all of this stuff. Everything that he's done. I mean, he slaughters the pigs. Um, you know what I mean? Like, cause I have a farm out back. So he's, he's wow. We haven't even gone to your backyard, yeah. but I guess it's gonna be time after this. Yeah. I'm gonna go to the garage next, but let's go to the backyard after this. Yeah, well, yeah. We'll all right. Do so, that. so he's, he's his side's rustic and and yeah. and, uh, and and raw with like what. Yeah. Like, Wood, wood countertops and like oh yeah wood cut, countertops giant cutting board countertops yeah giant cutting board countertops and what's the what's the thing an island he has they they, oh, they yeah. each have their own island and oh I love that with yeah. their styles with their styles yeah they oh, each that's have their so own cool. they each have their own island with their styles was and it like stainless steel like yeah, stainless, uh, commissary for yeah, for your, for Miguel sta- yeah stainless steel healthy chef very 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 polished stainless steel for uh, for him. And then for and then chunks got like chunks got just like, just, it looks yeah. like the gangs of New York. Basement. Oh There's God, like yeah, blood all over cutting boards, yeah. and butcher knives, and yeah. rusty screw. Oh knives. yes, yeah. that's exactly what oh, it is, man. dude. That's exactly like what it is. Some good eating. Oh, okay, such good food. And what what do they have for a fridge? For a fridge, well, Miguel has I need to the, know the fridge. I need to know the stove. I need to know. The okay, oven. yeah. For Miguel, for Miguel, his fridge is again. It's automated. It's that three. You know the bottom comes out yep. the fucking top comes out you know and he, you know it has the water thing but it's all you know there's there's touch screens on the thing so yeah. he can actually see what's in the fridge it's a transparent fridge yeah so he can see what's in the fridge without opening the fridge yeah you know what i mean like and then um on the other side his fridge is just a fridge it's a good fridge chunks fridge is a good fridge but he's got, you know, he's he sometimes he's open, you know, looking inside there. It's very uh, disorganized, but he knows where everything is. So Miguel's got a dope ass fridge from Elysium. Mm-hmm. And Chunk has got a whirlpool from a track home in Southern California in 1993. Yes. But it, it. it's the, it. OK, it's 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 because I let great. them I let them pick it out. That's yeah. just what Chunk likes. You know what I mean? Like he's got a big for his. He has more meat in his icebox though. Like he, he has an he has a separate icebox just for meat. Oh, he better. Yeah, he has to. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, have so to have that. What, what kind of stove we got over here? We kind of stove. Well, who's uh, got what stove? What kind of stove does Miguel have? Miguel, a very Mag- futuristic. Stove. Very, he has a very futuristic stove. It's all, it's sleek. all, it's all sleek. It's, and it's clean. very sleek. It's very clean. He's got a bunch of different burners, um, both gas mm-hmm. because come on, you can't have you know these are chefs. You know, they need gas. They they need gas. But um, the funny thing about the stove is actually is the, Miguel's is very sleek and stuff like that. But both of their stoves are very clean. Like even ve- chunk stove. Chunk stove is very clean. So the be- rest the rest of his shit's got stuff everywhere. Because well, you got to understand cross contamination. 
oh, okay, at the end of the day, like we need. At the end of the, the day, the stove doesn't have to be as clean. The, the, well, the yeah, countertop needs to be cleaner counter, well, the stove. His countertop on fire. I mean, there's yeah, burning. but uh, you don't want you don't want cross contamination. I don't want my steaks to to taste like turkey. You know what I mean? Like yeah, so. Do I? God no, forbid. No, dude, no, no. Don't ruin a steak with any other kind of. Meat. Dare ruin a steak with oh, any other steak? God, it's so good. It's so good. Is there a steak cooking right now? Like while we're oh like having this. Like, God, dude. You're showing me through your house. Like, uh, that's Miguel. That's and here's chunk, the thing. Here's chunk, the thing. That steak looks great. They do have their own islands, but their islands are actually uh, concave. So they can go into their island. They can like, they can like, like at their islands, a square, but half of the square, but like part of the square, you can walk into the square so that they can actually present on their islands and there's chairs around their islands. So, oh, you got a, yourself a little Benny Hanna, a little Benny, yeah, a island. little Benny Hanna situation. So we can actually like, you know, I can have a couple people over and we can have just little, little bars and we can see what they're cooking in That's the back. That's kind of fun. Instead of having having to eat in the dining room, you can like, yeah, let's no, eat, let's we eat can, here. Yeah, well, let's just eat here. I we can watch them to to just cook their cook their food and, and do what they want. And they're always experimenting, and that's the great thing about them. I'm oh, like, yeah. I give them free reign of the kitchen. Like, you guys can come and exper- I will buy all the all the ingredients. Don't worry about the price. I will buy all the ingredients. Whatever you guys want to try or experiment, I will just have people over and we'll test your food. It's freaking badass, Nate. Yes. Uh, I was going to say let's go to the garage next, naturally. Food. But can we go to the backyard and then we'll go back to the garage? Okay. Yes, okay let's, let's go to the backyard. So backyard is obviously dope as fuck it is a huge huge backyard big enough that you could draw a football field on it okay it could be a it could be a football field totally um and sometimes we do just because i like to have football games yeah it's big enough and there's there's bleachers that uh at the far far end at the far end of the backyard there's a tennis court um there is a um there's a basketball court, full basketball court on the side of the football court and uh, on the f- side of the football field. Um, and then off to the right is a small farm where I raise chickens, uh, goats, um, pigs. Um, we, we, get our, we have a harvest our own goat milk. Um, that sounds disgusting. Oh, goat milk is so gross. It doesn't it's, sound gross. It's so. I don't it's, know why it sounds like better to drink milk from a cow, but you just imagine like the goat from Adam Sandler's. Uh, oh God! Hey, what the? Yeah, have some of my milk. Well, I actually it used to drink. Sounds gross. It's 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 not good. It, well, here's the thing. I used to drink you have goat to drink milk it, though if you are lactose intolerant. Yeah, you right. know what I mean. Like that's what you. I mean, and here's the thing. And I we had goats and chickens in our backyards when I was growing up. Yeah. So I've always want, and so we never had to pay for milk. And and goat you is your Cheerios uh, with goat milk. No, I didn't eat much. I couldn't. I was I, at a point they thought I was allergic to milk, so I. I ate my Cheerios with uh, orange juice, actually. Oh, how weird. Yeah, it was gross. That sounds trippy. It's Yeah. You ever had Frosted Flakes with orange juice in it? It's not good. I love Frosted Flakes. <laughs> I love orange juice, but I do not love getting, <laughs> eating them together. <laughs> it was not good. It is. It was, it was a bad time in my life. It All was, right. So wait. So so you got so you have a, a, a farm, basically. Yeah. Going, yeah a little, a little farm. And not just with chickens and stuff, but we also have... Um, uh, all I like a lot of herbs, a lot of tomato, like uh, vegetables and stuff like that. And we kind of let them, the chickens and the, it's small enough and on a small enough scale that we don't really have to use. I don't have to use any hormones. I can just let the chickens free range and the, and the cows just mo- they eat the grass that's on the field. Yeah. And then the chickens, uh, they eat the bugs that are on the tomatoes. So we, so I got a whole little ecosystem. I got a whole little ecosystem, and it and it basically go. And I'm I'm kind of on the edge of the woods. Mm-hmm. And so that it kind of goes into the wood. So, it, you know, so it, that's that's kind of where that is. And there's no big predators anywhere like that. So we don't have any big predators. So, yeah, I, I don't have to worry about foxes coming in and trying to take my chickens or anything like that. I mean, I have a fence, obviously, but I don't have to worry about a fox, or, you know, any, any small yeah. predators it's coming secure. in. And take, yeah, it's, it's, it's a, a secure a place and, and a nice little ecosystem, but small enough that I can that I don't have to uh, get it so big that I got to use pesticides because I don't really want to do that because yeah. then it screws up the taste of the food. Yep. And, you know, it got some, and on that, also on that side, got apple trees, orange trees, got a pear tree, a couple pear trees. So you a little orchard, you got, I a, got farm. a Yeah, like a little, like, uh, not all the way an orchard, just a couple trees. A, a mini n- orchard. Yeah, a mini, a mini, a mini, a, a mini orchard. A mini orchard. I got a mini orchard. A lot, of, orchard. A lot of, I got a lot of responsibility and my gardener's out there. You and got a gardener? Uh, I got a gardener and a farmer. I got a, I got a, I got a dude whose his whole job is to make sure that the animals are fed. Um, You've got your own farmer. I've got my own farmer. <laughs> That's like a new like. You think you're rich? Oh uh, yeah. You got your own personal chef, your own yeah. personal trainer. I have a personal farmer. I have a personal farmer. Oh, it's I, so great. I also. What's I his also, name? What's that? What's his name? Oh, his name is Frank. 
Frank? Yeah, Frank. Okay. Just Frank. Frank? What's his last name? Monsanto? Or no, 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 no. Frank, Frank's an American. Yeah. Frank is the, he, Frank is, the, an, like, Frank is, like, his, it's like Frank Joseph. You Frank I mean? Joseph. Yeah. Hi, I'm Frank Joseph. Yeah. I'm uh, Nathan's personal farmer. Nathan's personal farmer. But uh, Frank's a good guy, though. Frank's what, a good what? guy. And all, and here's the thing. Frank is very good friends with Chunk and Miguel I would because hope so. they because they all get together and they're uh, on a team to satisfy they're, you, they're, dude. They're in a team to satisfy me and the people that come to my house. I also, if if somebody comes to my house, mm-hmm. uh, I like for people to see the whole process of the meal. So, like me being here right now in your fantasy house, I gotta watch this whole thing from beginning to end. No, 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 don't tell me I have to watch the slaughtering. I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna force people to watch the slaughtering okay. of the animal. That's that's uh, you know, if they, a lot of people don't want to see that. But what I am gonna, what I do like to watch, I like to watch people. I like to, I want people to see how their food is created. Mm-hmm. Like, not, like kind of at Benihana's, but I like people to see. Hey, man, you can go into the chopping thing. You know what I mean? Like we can go, we can watch them. That's why I want that that tasting thing, so you people can watch. Yeah. them create their meal I, I think that. that i think that that's that's such a dope thing to see people ch- do it's an you art to have kids over so they can oh like, dude such a, yeah such a healthy thing for them to like learn and it be re- part of it that's it really it really is curiosity and i mean like they basically got a petting zoo out back for the kids you oh know yeah what I'm saying? that's true right yeah i mean like that's that's kids love animals so is your backyard all just like it's serious business you got you got uh, a farmer and you've got uh, a groundskeeper that's taking care of the plants uh, gardening and all that stuff is there anything else in the back that we should see while we're back here? Um, I mean, like, there's a lot of there's a lot of sports stuff back there. Like I said, there's the football field. There's you know, there's you know, a, a, like a, a two hole golf thing. You know, like just oh, like wow. like okay. a, like a putting green kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. like a nice little. Do you putting. like the golf game? I do. Oh, cool. I'm not good. No, I didn't ask if you were good. These yeah. are fantasy guys. You can be really bad at it if you're oh, yeah. doing it. You got to do it. You know what I mean, like that. And then on the far, and then that, that's all kind of over to the right. And then on the left is a small little dirt bike track. I love that because yeah. I love all things off roading and trail. Oh God! Of course you do. Dirt You're a man. Mountain. Dirt bikes, so mountain bikes, ATVs, yeah. UTVs, yeah. off road pre runners. Yes. Yeah. Hiking on that trail, just going for a jog on a track. I'm a, I'm a Hitting huge. Hitting the golf ball on an off road yeah. track on a motocross track, golfing. Oh, have dude. they done that yet? No, I don't know. You can that, make the ball fly in really cool the, ways, right? We should right? do that. Yeah, but they're basically, and then um, yeah, and then we, I have any time we have like an event or something like that, we basically turn the side of the house into a big ass screen Mm -hmm. a big ass projector screen and then i have drone pilots come out and fly over the thing so everybody can everybody could just watch the screen or they can watch it live on the bleachers that are on either side so basically we have drone pilots come out and it's, it's feeding right into the screen that's on the side that's just projecting onto the side of the house so whatever's going on, so everybody can see. Well, this is what's going on on the track. Like if you, well, if it's if it's going on the track, or we're having a football game, or we're having a soccer game. Oh wow, that's hilarious! You know what I mean? Like so, everybody can everybody can see well, no matter where you are. Ah, that's great. And then uh, let me ask you ask you this: What's the backdrop? Like what's what what like what area? What's your house set in? Are you in the mountains somewhere? Are you on the I'm, beach? Are you on the in the desert? Are you in the middle of like a real what rolling what it, hills? Or what, what? Where are you? What it would basically the backdrop would be a big ass lake. Is it flat ground behind you, or there is there a mountain range behind you? you there's no, I mean? there's it's a big ass lake. It just goes out into the lake. So it's it's flat ground, big. It's ass flat ground, flat peaceful. ground. Like you can you can I'm I'm high enough up that you can look and see the la- and see a lot of the lake. Yeah. But there's a way down to the lake. I live on sure. the I live on you know what I mean. Like I live on the lake. But, but like if you're sitting in your backyard, let's say like if I'm let's sitting say we're golfing if, together, Nate, and you're it? golfing right, you're, it's your yeah. turn to putt. Yeah. And I'm looking over, and I'm just like I'm looking in the distance. Like you're seeing, you're seeing, you're seeing just the, the lake tree line out? and then the lake. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay. Yeah, you're seeing the tree line and then the lake, and then you're so seeing your house acro- is in Canada, and okay. then you're seeing, <laughs> and then you're seeing across the lake, and you can actually see the other side of the lake. What's on the other side? Uh, the, well, there's a big ass mansion or castle on the other side of the lake. I don't know where that is, but it, there's a big ass mansion or castle. Like we, do you know the owner of that? Yeah, of course I know the owner. We all know each other. Like the owner knows because he's he he comes over. He takes his boat over to my. Is this a community of fantasy homes? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Like this is a community of people who just got so so much I love that. Whatever that they were just like, you know what? That's I'm gonna badass. create whatever I want to create. I'm gonna you create have this, this in a virtual reality world where yeah. like everyone has their fantasy home. Yeah. And like in a, like I've been in Alaska, I've been to a community of people that have uh uh what do they call them? Like boat what are they flying boats or boat planes or whatever boat planes yeah is it called boat planes yeah so there's there's a lake you know, i'm sure there's multiple but but i've been to one in alaska that had um, all these people have their houses and their own dock and their own uh, boat planes and they're all around this lake and it's just a giant community of like people that have that same passion yeah 
and they all live around this thing and that's their thing is that they get in their boat planes and i was like man if you have that same kind of community of people that share the one passion of having these super trippy yeah. surreal fantasy homes all around i mean you could have that's that in the dope, VR dude. world right yeah that's because so cool. I, I think that it'd be cool if the guy next door like the guy across the lake and it's a pretty far way across yeah but sometimes he just shows up on my shore because he has his personal he has a personal submarine he has his own submarine, and he's just learning how to how to submarine in the lake. That's got to be fun. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, what's his name, by the way? Your Was neighbor? it Jacques? <laughs> Jacques Cousteau. Yeah, no. like, of course, I like. A Actually, submarine. no. You know what? His name's not Jacques. His name is Peter. You can't go back, Nate. What? I can't go back. No. You okay. Well, then Peter Jacques. Peter Jacques. Yeah. That's actually a great name. Yeah. Uh, okay, so let's go back inside now. Right. And uh, thanks for letting me putt around on the uh, oh, 125 dude, yeah. around your dirt bike track. That was really fun. Yeah. I really appreciate that. It's a four-stroke 125. It's, it's yeah, it's too it's, yeah. powerful for me. I'm, if you uh, put me on a regular 125, I'll be like, ah, it's too much power. Well, I got, some, on, I got some, I got some, I got some, I got some quads out there too, and I got some just some regular dirt bikes out, like some regular uh, BMX out there too, because not everybody can fucking just jump on a dirt bike and ride on a track, dude. Although they should. Yeah. <laughs> got some mountain bikes out there too. Okay, that's what they should have is mountain bikes. Mountain bikes, yeah. Um, okay, so let's go back inside and, and uh, have a drink. I'll stop by a Chunk and have him make me a uh, double dark chocolate uh, milkshake real quick. Oh God, and, yes, and he's, gonna, gonna, he's, gonna, he's gonna. I'm gonna, gonna, gonna sip that while you walk. Well, I, I oh, can yeah. drink that because I don't have to worry about having to use the bathroom and having a stomach attack. No, you don't. Because you don't. at your house, I'm totally cool, right? So we're no, you're, you're totally cool. So I'll take you're that totally dark cool. chocolate milkshake. And just to let you know, I have a pastry chef, and I'll take a pastry to dip it in. Okay, there you go. There you go. Um, I love pastries too, especially if you have macaroons like like uh, French style macaroons. I like oh, that. Those are donuts. Good. If I can those get an apple good. fritter and a, <laughs> and a pistachio macaroon, everything and everything and I yeah some lav- I want a lavender shake too. My pastry. I'm chef. really going all out with this. Dude, since get, the bathroom it. makes me feel so com- do it, confident. Do it, dude. Because my pastry chef cooks all the breads in house, oh. from flour to wheat. We carb like he, he, yeah. Okay, so we're back in the house. Oh. I got my lavender milkshake. Um, uh, mm. Let's go to your garage now. I want to sip on this milkshake <laughs> while you show me your sweet ass garage. All right, my garage. What's the entrance <laughs> to your garage like? Where, like, what? But the entrance, the entrance to my garage is. I just uh, walk in from inside the house, right? You can walk in from inside the house. Or do you want to take me from? But I'm going to take you outside the house, and then we're going to walk up to describe the garage. it. Paint the picture, baby. All right, so okay, we leave out the front door. We go around the house mm-hmm. uh, to the side, and there was the garage. Now, every garage, you press a button. And it opens up, right? Yep. So when it opens up, first thing you see is my cars. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, uh, the first cars in there, uh, you know, is my my favorite car in the world, my dream car, Porsche 1996, Porsche 911 Twin Turbo. That's the first car. Yeah. First car you're going to see. You and Joe Rogan both, right? The Porsches uh. are so, they're so fucking good. Yeah. They're so beautiful. Just the, 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 the way they're made is... Uh, the engine's at the back. It shouldn't be there. <laughs> oh, it should. It should. It should. Here's the thing. Here's pieces. here's the thing. It shouldn't be there. But I feel like Porsche was like, okay, be- because they decided to just like double down and go with it at the back. They had to figure so much shit out how to make that work. So they're just their engineering is just off the charts. And so I, I don't know. It's just. I just I love Porsches. I I love Porsches. Me too. And uh I love that ni- that 9096 that twin turbo. Oh, um, yeah. And uh that's in there. And then the 918. Well, what color is the Porsche? Porsche yellow, dude. Yellow Come Porsche. On. Yeah, yellow okay. Porsche. And what what's the actual the makeup of the garage like? What's the flooring? Well, that's like? what I'm about to tell you. Okay, okay. so the first Sorry, thing you see, no no, it's all good. Your way, it's all good. It's all good. No no no. no. Ask away, sir. But, uh but the first thing you see is you're going to see that Porsche and it's going to look kind of like, "Oh, dude, you don't have you don't have that. That's all you have." And I was like, "No, nah, man." And then uh, you you look to the the side and it's Right now, it looks like a normal, just a, a normal two car garage. Yeah, and then you look to the side, and there's like a there's like a family wagon, like a like a Range Rover, some shit like that. You know what I mean, like mm-hmm. something like that. And then I take you to uh to the, the Porsche is right in front of you. The Range Rover is off to the left, and then I take you behind the Porsche and the Range Rover to an elevator. Well, tell me, finish describing this. The entrance to this garage. The though, entrance uh, to the garage. The regular just, garage, is like it's yeah, just it looks like walls, a two like yeah, just a drywall. What's, it, what's the floor? What's the floor? Checkered it's floor. The, the, uh, 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 like some, it's all. It's an all white floor. Okay. It's an all white floor. Very sleek and, and like uh, very, sterile. Yeah, very sleek, very sterile, but it doesn't look overly luxurious. Okay. And all you and uh, and, and the and the Porsche on the uh, Porsche on the right, and the Range Rovers on the left. And then you go behind the uh, the Range Rover mm-hmm. to an elevator. I like that. And the elevator doesn't look like an elevator. It just looks like part of the wall. And I got a, I have a key that I put into a, a, a lock, like a, a small crevice, yep. a lock. And I turn it, mm-hmm. 
and then the elevator doors open. We get in the elevator doors. Then I take an, I take my thumbprint. I put it on the pad. I like how you have a key and a thumbprint. Like, yeah, dude. You know, it's it, it, you're gonna you feel. Both. I want you to feel like, oh my God, what's about to? What am I about to see? Yeah, there's a lot of layers to this. Yeah, security, from old fashioned yeah, to uber yeah. modern. Oh yeah, I want you to. What am I about to see? So we go down floors. You don't even know how many floors. But now we're underground, mm-hmm. and it opens up, and it's just the biggest, most dopest garage you've ever seen, with like a hundred and fifty different modes oh of transportation. Not even just cars. I got doom buggies down here. I got Jay Leno's garage. That's what I have in my basement. Oh, I love it. Every car that you've ever, the you know, nineteen seventy two Dodge Charger, it's down there. The, you know the. 2005 Porsche 911 Carrera. So you have a hard time even making up your mind about what to drive. Yeah. But here's here's the thing. Here's the thing. So we're down there. We're in this garage. And for, what's the first question? If we just went down in an elevator, in an elevator, yeah. to a garage that's underground, what's the first question? And you saw all these cars. What's the first question that you're going to ask me? What am I going to ask you? How do you get these cars out? That's exactly what you're going to ask me. And what's the answer? The answer is that every car has its own Lazy Susan. Okay. You know what that is? Yeah. Okay, course. yeah. So every car has so on lady a... lady that's named Susan that's yeah, very that's lazy. That's exactly what it is. Every car is on she a platform. Car? Every car is on a platform. Mm-hmm. That plat- When I want that car, I get in that car, I push a button, that platform rises up into the ceiling and it comes out like a helipad right in my driveway. Spins around and I'm faced right towards the out. Dope. Right, Right toward out. Yeah. So no matter what car I want... I don't have to ever park it in that. I don't have to, you know what I mean? Like, so I, I it go, I just put it on that. I tell it what slot it's in. Each car has its own slot. And then it goes down, it re- releases and goes down into that slot. That's dope. And then, yeah. So, and I have, I have everything that you, I got motorcycles down there. I got, that's where I keep my boats. You know what I mean? Like dry docked. Yeah. Yeah. This dude, I'm telling you, that's this, the garage is is gonna be like you. It's it's gonna look like a museum. How do you keep this stuff secure? Is your house just that strong? Oh no, I have security. security. I have sec- no. I have se- no. Okay. <laughs> all right. So I've been waiting to tell you about this. All right. Okay. So that's my garage. Now I got a lot of stuff that people would want to steal, don't I? I've noticed. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff that people I'm about would want to jack steal. one of those chefs. So not only hmm. do I have a security staff. I have uh, I've countermeasures, as, as you might want to call it. What's them. that mean? That means that, hey, maybe my doormat is electrocute, electrified. I don't Jesus. know. Yeah, maybe maybe that's going on. I have secret. See, I shouldn't tell people this, but I have secret rooms. Mm-hmm. There are pull this book and a door opens, and pull this and, and a bookshelf opens. Well, let's go parts. upstairs and find this room. Yeah, I want to go to one of those rooms. You want to go to one of those rooms? Let's go to let's go to let's go to your. This is the blow your mind section now. Okay, because we've done the basics. We've done the All bathroom. Right. We've done the kitchen, the backyard, the garage, the entranceway. Mm-hmm. Now this is the blow your mind part where I'm just like Nate, take me to your trippiest like. Blow my mind with these rooms. All right, blow my mind. These rooms and these appliances. All right. So we, we just went up the elevator again now, We just right? went up the elevator. We're we back walked inside back the, house. In the house. We go upstairs. Okay. What kind of stairway you got? Uh, I got a fucking banister staircase. Banister staircase? Yeah. What kind of flooring is on the staircase? Marble. It's, the same. It's, it's, it's soft marble. I don't know if you've ever seen that before. Soft marble. Yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. It's marble, but it's not, it's not nearly as... It's made with a different fucking material. I don't know what kind of material it is. Okay. But it's... Somehow softer, I don't know. It's it's soft marble, okay. But it's not. It's 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 rounded, okay. So it's 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 shaved down and rounded. So there's no like cutting edges on it. Yeah. And that's the whole staircase. Okay. What's going on? Are there pictures on the side? Of yeah. The wall? There's pictures. There's up pictures or up or on like... the side of the wall. They're all they're they're all like uh, no no fine art. These are not fine art pictures. These are like uh you know I got. You know that time that I met, uh, uh, you know Mickey Mouse at Disneyland's in that picture. It's just like re- pictures that I like. I'm not these. These pictures are for me. They're not for people to come see. Hey, look at my life. Look what I have. These aren't those pictures. Yeah, that's in a different part of the house. That's in the hallways downstairs for mm-hmm. when parties. But up coming up the stairs, you're just gonna see my life. Pictures of my life. Hey, this is this is my mom's. You know what I mean? Like this is this is this is Shevsky. Eh, me and Shevsky. Yeah, ro- hey, dude. Fucking all, the road dogs. All the road dogs oh, are on the walls. Dog. And then the fucking platinums that we've the every you know the platinum records that we've got because of comedy and shit like that. Grammys we want. Yeah, that's all on the wall going up the stairs. So it's just a reflection of me going up the stairs. And then there's a banister on the on the other side. What's the banister made out of? What's it? The banister's just made out of wood. 
Uh, I'm going to say maybe cedar. Is it shellacked or what is it? No, it's 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 not shellacked. Non shellacked cedar. I want people to feel the wood. So the same guy that did your uh, the carpenter that did your uh, your what do you call it your uh, island? Uh, yeah, the your, same, yeah, the same guy that did my island, island in, the in the kitchen. Yeah, he he probably did the banister, and uh, it's reclaimed yeah, wood. Yeah. Almost, it, you, know, you know, you know what the yeah, you know what it what do you almost need it to be so smooth for. <laughs> Why don't you have it get some splinters when you go? Up yeah, the dude, feel be feel the, feel the wood, and then when you get to the it's top, rustic, you everything actually... is wood floors. Okay, everything is wood floors. Now there's a lot of rooms. There's bedrooms. You okay. know, there's an office. What, what color are the walls up here? The color of the walls is just uh, you. Gonna, most of the walls are white. In the hallways, mm -hmm. and then every room has its own theme. Okay. Regardless of if it's a bedroom, take, a bathroom. Take me in a, in a room. Okay, so uh, one room that's going to have its own theme is I'm going to walk into my office. The office is going to look like something out of 2200, 2300. Like so super futuristic? Super futuristic. Like sleek and... Like, like sleek and, and everything's touchscreen. Like not even touchscreen. The desk... Is just a big ass computer like in Tron. You know what I mean? Like it's just a oh, like, but it's like like a Tony Stark like that. So I can pull things up and like holograph, like look at them in in three D. Oh wow! And uh, and it's basically I have you know you can wear the. It's almost like you wearing the gloves from uh, Minority Report. And all the walls mm -hmm. are ref are made out of the same material. So I can basically say uh, night, and the walls will simulate night. Oh wow! Along with the floor and the then the ceiling, so it will look like it could look if nothing was. So you could be like this. You could say, "Float me in darkness." Yes. Wow. Bathe yeah. me in light. Yes. Oh wow. You could say what you. I, so I want, I'm there with you right now. You're like, check it out. You could say whatever you want. I'm like, I want to be standing. In, bathe me in light, and it'll just be like glowing, like I'm in just like. Oh. Yeah. Like wow. and, and and it's all and it's all gyroscopic. Ice cave. Yeah, you're in ice cave, and it's all gyroscopic. Pile so basically, of naked women fighting over me. Boobs, like it would just put boobs in sushi, it. salmon oh, sashimi. Yeah. I want to be covered in salmon sashimi. It's just like <laughs> the walls and the floor are all just orange. Yeah, looking like salmon sashimi. Yeah, dude. Wow, this you could do whatever you wanted for the room. room. Yeah, and so like room. what I like to use this room for is when I'm studying, when I'm when I'm you know working and I'm hard at work and I'm writing and I'm writing a script, writing a bunch of jokes or whatever. I can just say Starry Night. And everything around me, including the floor and including the table and including the chairs, because everything is made out of the same material, just looks like a starry night. I'm just floating That's in a starry so night. Yeah. That's so rad. Yeah. I, I'm tell that is one of the room that is one of the things that I've been thinking about since I was twelve. Just I, having a room like that? Just having a room that I can that's just pure stars. Amazing. To, if you could stand in the middle of pure stars. Dude. It, like I that just trips me out, dude. Like I, I honestly, I'm about it. you know what I mean? Like, dude, I feel like that's like, that's like meditation while you're awake, Let's dude. Just like, stand you know, in it for a second together right now. Like, dude, let it, me just stand next to just you. Stand you just standing, yeah. Stars, and we're standing in just a, standing a room that just like if 360. Like, if you look down, it's like you're just floating out in space. You're right just now in with, space, just with galaxies and stars in every direction. In every Let's direction. Just feel it for a second. Mm. Wow. Uh huh. Yeah, dude. It feels good, doesn't it? It's amazing. It feels good, doesn't it? Doesn't that? Wouldn't that feel? The, the The main reason I wanted to have this room, but I'm 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 not even joking with you. When I was twelve, I was thinking about this. I thought it would be cool to fly, and I would be like, "Well, I'll never be able to fly because we're humans, and we we probably won't be able to do that, at least not in my lifetime." But it'd be really cool to just feel like it would, what there was nothing around me. That's why I've always wanted to go skydiving, and I was yeah. like, man, it would be dope to just have a room where I could just be like the sky, and everything around you is just the sky, and then you're just above. And you you can look down and you can see the the world, and you can just you know you're just but you're traveling like this. So there's there's a a, a motion. You could be moving. So you could be moving. And then I was like, oh man, stars would be cool too. And just to, just to see, or like you could do underwater, and everything would just be you'd be just in an underwater. Oh wow. yeah, dude. Oh, so wow. I, I thought that, that's swimming around you, sharks up and down, and you're you like, telling me that that how do you get stressed out in a room like that? Well, I mean, the sharks might scare me. In all honesty, though, like the concept of like standing in the stars is really getting to me. It's really making Dude, me getting to me in a good way. It's I, mean, really, I, I feel it's like getting I, me like excited, like wow, like most of I us will that. never go to space, dude. And it's well, it was, don't tell and, people to have a self fulfilling prophecy. Well, no, 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 no. Well, here's, the, here's the thing. That's their dream. Here's and, the and thing. you're going to space, listener. 
You're going. To, you can go space. But what I what but I want to like, man, dude, this this space you can't pass the eye exam. I cannot pass the eye exam. Think about being albino. Yeah, uh, can't your, can't can't do it. Legally, I can't your do eyes it. are bad. They're bad, sir. So I'm not going to space. And I, I've always, 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 always wanted to go to space. And I'm fascinated. Like for Christmas, my mom usually gets me something space related. Yeah. Just like she got me a a space book uh, this Christmas. I love space, and so yeah. So I've always wanted to go to space, and I've just always. And there's so much light pollution in LA that you can't see the stars. It's true. Es verdad. And so I'm just like I'm fascinated with the stars. I think that that would be a dope room, and um, and then um. In that room, yeah, it would just be like that would be my office, and so they would just be like, but everything. How do you get work done though? Like if you can like just be like, bathe me in light. Like I, I'd be like start trying to write down my to do <laughs> list, and I'd be like, uh, uh, fuck it, underwater. I have some I have some serious agenda of stuff I need to get done for the day that takes focus, and I'd be like, I want to be floating in space. <laughs> And that would take away. See, I feel like that would be the per. If I could just right now be like, uh, starry night, and everything was just stars, dude. The openness that I would feel, yeah, would just allow me to be so creative. I feel like that's like, great. I feel like that. And, and that, yeah. Wait, hey, this is your fantasy house. I'm just the guest that's hey, uh, excited to be. Chilling you can do here. whatever you want in the room. It's it, you know, I'll, I'll let you go in there. I'm honestly just gonna sit in the stars and try to like meditate or something. Dude, just lay yeah. In just, Imagine like, lay in, meditating in there. Just lay in the stars. Oh my god, like that. dude, that'd be so great. Like that would be crazy I, 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 I like I, you could use i mean like you could take what it'd be so awesome to take you know a kid into that room and just be like hey man so you want to you want to see venus and so you could just like you could our satellites can see venus like they've they've gone and so we could just take satellite pictures upload them to the room and then the room could show you oh, in wow. three dimensions the space Oh, that's a trip. like real space. I, love be, it. I mean, that'd be such a Nate's anywhere room. Anyway, yes, there. That's what we call it my anywhere room. So, what do they call it? The like, uh, was it to be is like submerged to be bathed in or whatever? I don't know to be submerged in stuff like a submersion room. Immersion, just, immersion, immersion, immersion room. Yeah. yeah, it's so cool. Master bedroom is it's a big. I mean, obviously, it's a big room. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I'd say I don't know footage, but it's a it's a big ass room. I have a uh, a god bed. Okay, which is uh, two sizes bigger than king. Okay. Um, a god bed is yeah. that a real thing? I don't know, but that's what I'm calling it. <laughs> I totally was like, does LeBron and Kobe have god beds? Um, okay, god bed. That's a yeah. hilarious name for a bed. Yeah. Uh, king bed. Oh no, I have a god bed. I'm yeah, really I have rich. a god. I have a god bed. That's badass. Okay. <laughs> you have a god bed. You said you don't know like square footage or what? No, I don't know. Okay, like the room we're in right now, the podcast studio. I'm going to say it's about 300 square feet. 300 square feet. Oh yeah, we're talking about my 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 bedroom is probably going to be you know 2,000 square feet. Okay. It's bigger than a lot of people's houses. Yeah, it's okay. it's a it's a big it's a big bedroom. Okay, no, that's big cool. Ass, hey, big it's ass your fantasy house, dude. I want to hear hey, dude, all about yeah. your 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 crazy bedroom, your two thousand oh, yeah. square foot bedroom with yeah. a god bed in with the middle. With a god of it. bed, right, yeah, where, with a god bed. All right, go on. Tell me more. Um, my bed mm -hmm. can raise or or lower. Love it. Depending on what I want to be doing, you know what I mean. Well, what 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 do you want to be doing, and what and what what's the benefit of raising and lowering it? I mean, sometimes you want to sleep like you want to feel like you're higher up. Sometimes oh. you want to feel like you're, you know, Japanese, you know, down on the ground. Also, sometimes you want to feel like you're Japanese. I just yeah. love that quote. Nick. <laughs> sometimes you want to feel like you're Japanese. Sometimes you want to feel like my you're... way of doing that is eating sushi and paying for underpants through a, a vending machine. But yours is to raise your bed. To or lower raise your bed. or lower your bed, man. I love sometimes it. I feel like that's what they do in Japan. Like they can fucking they have so much technology they can just raise or lower their bed. They can just do whatever they fucking I, want. I love it. That's great. And sometimes you want to feel that way. So what's, you know, what's your flooring like, by the way? My flooring room? like it, it's all it's all it's carpet. Okay, but it's. I think that's a great choice, by the way, for bedrooms. Uh, people who I'm get not fucking, a hardwood no. floor in the bedroom. No, a lot dude, of people no. That's the I don't. Big thing I don't now. want hardwood Nate, floors. That's the big. A lot of people want hardwood floors in the bedrooms. It's cool too if you have hardwood floors and you put a giant rug in it, so most of the far hardwood is actually covered. Yeah, but carpet. I love carpet in a bedroom. I know it's hard that's to clean. I get it. No, dude, I'm no, I'm I right with it. her. I I prefer carpet in the bedroom, and it doesn't have to be this bullshit ass shag carpet or anything like that. But personal preference. I'm yeah. all about it, man. To each you, his own. You gotta have carpet. I'm for me. I want carpet in the bedroom. Bedroom. I do not like fucking cold feet. You know what I mean? Like it's it's. You could have heated floors. Yeah, but, but I. It's also I, there's something I, about the way carpet feels between about, your toes. Something about laying down on carpet. It yep. just feels it feels good. I love it. It just too. really does. So I yeah, lay on the floor all the time. Do it's really it's high. It's on the floor. Oh man, it feels good. I love it. It feels so good. I'm a good. floor layer. Dude. I'm a floor. I'm a floor layer. I'm a floor layer. It's a better place. It's, sometimes it's a place to sit. You know what I mean? Like yep. I don't know. I I've always been that way. So That's great. Yeah. I, so I, carpet I in the bedroom. Nice carpet. Really high end what carpet. The carpet. Probably the carpet's probably white. Okay. But white not carpet? but not 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 one hundred percent. Like it's a little bit off white. They call it, yeah. Total white carpet can make things look weird. 
Yeah. So it's a little. It's almost. It's like a cream, but but a cream, little cream. What you got? A, cream. But a little lighter than cream. Okay. Um, with, a, with like a cream white with a tint of gray. You okay. know what I mean? That's like a, that's so, like eggshell. Y- yeah. 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 Okay. There you go. I, I like that. And and so, and I'm just telling you, I got a lot of notes of of, of light. Uh, bright colors in your house. Oh yeah, no, there's a lot. It, my, From my, the downstairs, yeah, the garage, everything. Yeah. A lot, a lot of white walls. Yeah, and uh, well, because I want, I want it to. Uh, there's certain, there's certain rooms that are a little bit darker, but the, the, the it's, it's when I want something to look smaller. That, I think that looks really pretty too when it's mixed with like how you were talking about having like all these rustic like wood things. And yeah, like unfinished woods. Yeah, I think like white. With that unfinished wood, that has a cool look to it. It, it really does. I really, I really, really does. like that. You that. can you can see all the you can see all when you have white and and, and you have like rustic woods is which which is what I like. I like dark woods and stuff like that. You can see the imperfections of the wood. Yeah, really, really well because the light bounces off of it. Yeah. in a different way, and I, I I fucking think that that's so dope. But I love how we go into your immersion room and like it can be just super bright, super dark from the top, like three sixty, and Everything. then we go into your bedroom and it's like your bedroom is very very light. Oh, it's very, very, very yeah. bright. I want my, bright. I, I want, I don't want to. Are the walls white too? The walls are you have white, well, white carpet, white carpet. The walls are uh, a little, a little bit darker than the carpet. Okay. But it, it, the carpet bleeds right into the walls. And then the, as they go up, the walls get a little darker. Okay, cool. Uh, the paint does at least. That's the, interesting. You have like a gradient on the wall. Yeah. I have like a gradient on I the have wall. Not so seen it's, that before that. That so it's badass. a little bit darker at the top. That sounds dope. Yeah. That sounds really dope. Yeah. And then what color is your ceiling? What's your ceiling? My like? ceiling, my ceiling basically it continues that theme into the middle of the room. So it's dark at the very top. Yeah, it's 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 not like black or anything like that, no. but it's the darkest at the, the darkest very top. The darkest of the colors. What's the yeah, darkest? What, what is that darkest color? The darkest color would probably be almost like almost going into a like a gray. Okay. But at the at its point at the top is the chandelier in the center of the room. And so you can't actually see the meeting of it, yeah. but you can see the light. And so the light is actually... What way- shape is your room? My, it's m- mostly square, but with the rectangle part off to the bathroom. Okay, this makes sense. Okay, yeah. I, I see it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, so you so. have this like this lighting system in the very center of it. Yeah. That's, that's big and bold. That's big and so bold. So even with that gray where it meets, it's you're really met by like that boldness of the lights right there. Yes, exactly. Okay. And it's it's not the single chandelier. It's basically the 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 flat chandelier uh, lights that hang down. So basically, it's every all the light. And I, I there's a there's a a glass balcony Mm -hmm. that i can go out onto and i'm the way my thing is facing the sun comes up into my bedroom now if i have my my uh my automatic shades closed which can basically just darken yep and uh then you know obviously no light gets in but when it does it basically goes up and so basically you'll get the 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 way that the the sunrise comes off the lake all that light will come right into my room Onto that, my bed is far enough back that all that light will come on into my room, hit the wall, and then as it goes up, it'll go up, but it'll change color because of the color of the paint on the wall. Yeah, yeah. And wh- how? Wh- what? What's the the windows? What's the glazing in this room like? Like, what kind of windows? What shapes uh, are, they? What are they? They're open bay. They're very bay-ish windows, but they open. How big are they? They're top to bottom. Top to bottom. Yeah, top to bottom. So let's say your let's say your top to bottom height of your room is fifteen feet. I'm just estimating, or thirteen, like downstairs. Yeah, like right? thirteen. Yeah. So thirteen feet. So it's, your windows are pretty much 13 feet. From it's the, a little shorter than that. My room is probably 12 maybe. Okay. So would you say the windows are from the floor? Yeah. To the, to the flo- from the, from the very floor. Very modern. Very yeah. Cool. Very modern from the floor to the ceiling. And that's how it opens too. And you have the tech to just be like dark windows and it's going to be. Yeah. Like, I can tint the windows at any point. That's very cool. Just by like talking to your Just by talking or? to them. Yeah. I can, I, can, I can tint the windows at any point. I, I got a little nightstand where I can automate the windows i can even set a time when i want the windows oh, I like to tint it. i can set a time when i want the lamp the lights to turn on it's very but it's very uh it's very uh tech nice but it's also not like alexa do you know what i mean yeah, like yeah. it's not like that it's so, not just wait so you so you have you just mentioned your nightstand what's your nightstand look like my nightstand basically is got my uh it's got my assortment of magnifying glasses on it what's it look like describe it to me visually okay so the mac uh, let's say my nightstand is i'd say uh, well, it it has it's on the same raising and lowering mechanism that my bed's on, so it can raise and lower with my bed. Interesting. But it's 
kind of like it's just it's a regular nightstand. It's like a box. It's like a um, it's like a little table, also wood, um, probably pine. Okay. Um, Does it have a drawer in there or something? Like yeah, that? it has one. It has one drawer in it, but most of the stuff that I have is on like my on my tables or underneath my TV because right where my bed is at. It, you didn't if, even tell me you have a TV. Oh yeah, eight. no, that's that's this wall. Okay. Oh, the wall's a TV. The wall. The wall is like a. It's like a two hundred inch TV. That's badass. That's why I said 2000. It's like a movie theater in your room. Yeah, I have a movie theater in my room. So when what, you fall asleep at the movies, it has to be big enough that I can see it laying in bed. I was just going to say. You uh, know? Tell our listeners uh, about the, your eye situation. Oh, yeah. I'm, uh, all albinos are legally blind, and so I'm legally blind. My, my vision is pretty fucking bad. Um, you don't even have to curse. Uh, my, my vision is pretty bad. Yeah, so that's my bedroom. And my bedroom is very plain. Most of my, like, I, I try not to have too many distractions in my bedroom. So I leave it. Okay. Like I've always, that's always been my, my grandpa used to say shit like that. He was like, you don't have a bunch of distractions in your bedroom. Otherwise you just never leave. So, so it's a great point. It, you know, I, I mean, mean, it's good to have a comfy bedroom. It's good to have a comfy people. You, you need to be comfortable. Certain personality types is like go in there to sleep, get your rest, focus. on. I think you should focus on that when you're in bedroom. That's my yeah. personal take. And then get out of it and live a life for God's you sake. Live your fucking life, but, man. But I got to know, you're in your bedroom. I got to know about your, your master ba- bathroom. Oh, yes, okay? you do. And okay. I also need to know about your closet, like where yeah. you store your clothes and whatnot. Closet, so, first of all, clo- I'm going to get to the bathroom last. Okay. Be, uh, I mean, no, I'm going to get to the, I'm going to get to the, uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll get to the bathroom last. Okay, so closet. Take me first, on a tour. F- first of all, closet, <clears throat> walk-in closet. Okay. Walk in closet. Great. Uh, I have everything, and I mean walk in closet. Yeah. Like my closet is big as fuck. How many square feet, Nate? Uh, we're talking, let's say. Uh, this room's 300 feet, the podcast studio. Let's say 300 square feet. 700 feet. 700 square feet. Okay. Yeah. Closet. Yeah, that's a bi- that's a nice walk in closet. Yeah. We, and, we and got ourselves a little Kardashian yeah, over we, here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All of my. It's all like of you're my... shopping at Neiman Marcus. Yes. Okay. We went to Neiman's this morning. Yeah. All my, uh, all my clothes were on. on, on Things and it has uh, on on hooks, but it it's like a they're on hooks like at the at the dry cleaner. So basically, I just everything is categorized in my in the computer in my closet. So I just look on the computer, pick out what I want to see, yep. and then it pulls it up. Yeah, pulls it up on the thing, and then I say, yeah, I'm going to do that today. Every every shoes, all all my shoes are categorized, and they're all out. And I can see all my shoes. Describe some of these shoes. Oh man, just I a have couple s- of them. Just, just a couple of them. All right, I got the. I got all my shoes are custom. Like I don't have no. There's no. You there's, freaking weirdo. Yeah. There's no. There's no. There's no. But I, when I mean custom, I mean custom for me. I don't mean there's no Nike sixes. Nah, these are all my shoes that I design. These are all my shoes. Like I have some green shoes, um, with some stripes on them, and like like uh, uh, they say albino rhino on the side. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah. These are all Nate, you got the dopest house and the freakiest <laughs> freaking feet. I these, love it. Yeah, dude. These are these are all my all so of you, these shoes I created these shoes. So, you, so these are a n- nice shelves, like very yeah. displayed nice shelves. Nice shelves. Again, we're back to wood. Um is the floor carpet still in the there? Co- or? The floor is still carpet in here. Okay. okay. The floor is still carpet. What in color here. is the cabinetry and the shelves? The cabinetry, I was gonna say th- these are these are probably a, like a smoked cedar. Cool. You know what I mean? Like a what's your, what's your lighting like? Oh, the lighting! Oh, the lighting is okay. Well, first of all, there's a mirror with the mirror lights from like the, the actor lights. Oh, cool! Yeah, yeah. yeah. we have well, that at the comedy store in the uh, yeah the main room uh, yeah. green room has yeah. that right the lights that go all the way around the bulbs. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, so so there's one of those, and then the rest of the light is all top down. Uh, it's bulb light, but it's those lights that are stuck into the ceiling. Yeah. So that it's just it's it's there a recess lighting. Yeah. They so there's no the there's very little shadow in there because I don't want a lot you know shadows fuck up pictures. So there's and and so there's a selfie station. <laughs> Just for you? Just for me. In your own closet? In my own closet. Like you went to a company Christmas party? Yes. With a photo booth? Yes. With an iPad? With, you with, yeah. Have, you, have the, because you have your own photos emailed to yourself, Nate? No, no, no. There's a selfie station. It, it, no, no. You said I, I like to riff. I, I should do that. I should do that. But what it, the selfie station is for, it's basically a three-dimensional 360 picture i step into this booth it takes a picture of what i'm wearing <laughs> yeah and then i can get out of the booth and look at the picture and be like all right does, how does this look from the back i need that for myself to verify i'm not walking out with like a cat cat lint cat this is what lint dude i'm me. telling you this Genius. is what everybody needs this in their house it's like, the, it's like you have like the thing that they have at the airport that they scan that is to make sure you're not a terrorist yeah but you do it at home just be like do i have a piece of tape stuck to my butt exactly you know what i mean like what does this look like on my ankles you know what i mean I like i can't it. see and i'm and i'm blind so i'll be able to nice. zoom in on specific okay that's how my shoulders look for real you know what 
I mean, like that. Well, Nate, that, now you're picking yourself apart. We need to take this technology away so you don't, you know, stress out on yourself. Oh no, you have dude, beautiful shoulders. I, I do have beautiful shoulders. He has big shoulders. This, folks. This, I wish this was a video. This podcast. house couldn't. I couldn't have the shoulders. Oh, thank you. I, I couldn't do this house when I was 21. I was way too self conscious. I'm, I'm 40 now and I can fucking do it. That's right. It wouldn't you be a problem. Got, you, you've got the life experience and, and the, yeah. the self, the self love now. To, comedy to has destroyed my ego. Thank you, comedy. That's good, right? It's one of the healthy benefits. It's fantastic. You can either eat a ton of mushrooms and freak out in a park out in the suburbs, or you can do comedy for a decade. Something will destroy your ego and bring you back to the real reality. It really will. And it, you'll love it for it. <laughs> you will love it. All right, let's go into this bathroom. All right. Now. So the bathroom, first of all, there's two sinks, a his and her sink. Rainforest shower. We're doing rainforest again. We're doing... We're, no, no. This is a common theme in you know, You know the drop-down rainforest shower. I you? love that. It's, 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 I stayed in a hotel in, when I was in Boston mm-hmm. that that just like two months ago that had a rainforest shower and i was it was life-changing yeah i was like this is the what why would you shower anyway how long did you shower when you were there i, I was like f- i think it was like 45 to 50 minutes you couldn't get out I, like, could, I, I know i, 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 I don't want to yeah. waste water this, i was, cannot stop it was I have to get i have to stay in the shower it was the most refreshing feeling i've ever had in my entire it was it was so did the hotel staff make you get out or did you actually get bored and say i'm gonna get out i can't do this anymore. i had to go i had a show <laughs> But uh, it was, it was, it feels so good, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It feels so good. And so, so yeah. So what does it look like? Is that stainless steel like that? No, that no, no, no. Here, here's the thing. Okay. So the rainforest shower, when you step into the shower, um, the angle of my house mm-hmm. is such that this bathroom can't be seen. Okay. From outside. Yeah. So the other two walls are pure glass. So you're looking at the outside. Yeah. So, so you Badass. can yeah, so you can see the the whole outside. Can they see you though? Like, no, that's what I'm saying. Over, they're that, watching Nate shower. No, 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 no. Because the, okay, so like it's a let's say a, it's a box, but the two outside mirrors are one, like kind of like one way glass. Yeah. I can see out, but you yeah, can't totally, see in. Totally. So it's just a mirror to them, but to me, I can see everything out, and uh, and it's lit- it's top to bottom, I just love all that. the way outside. But you know, if you're in the bathroom, obviously you can see me in the shower. But What's the tiles like? What's the, the like tile? The tile is rock. I want the shower to feel kind of like rock, oh, like yeah. you, you, like you, you know. Have rock. you ever stayed at the Madonna Inn? No. Okay, it's 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 very tacky and silly, but also amazing. Yeah, it's a combo of that where you're like, I can't believe how crazy and goofy this place is, but also like they have rock showers, and like I absolutely love showering there. I've stayed there a couple times, yeah. and it. It it's so much fun. It's like you're showering in a cave. There's one room I think called the cave room that I stayed in. Yeah, and that like you're dope. in this like it's rock from top to bottom, like surrounding you. The ceiling, everything is like rock, and like you're like I'm taking like a hot shower in this like cave room. Yeah, and it's like I don't remember how much it is a night to stay there. Whatever it is, it's worth it, dude. That's it's, that's that's kind of what I want in my so shower. Great. That's and, how it's it's such a good feeling. And you could have that in what you're talking about with an open. I feel like that's what I'm imagining for your shower. Yeah, but instead of it being. Uh, fully surrounding you with the, the it's rock. Only on two there's a wall. Yeah, yeah it's on like two of the walls. But then the other sides are there's the exit. And yeah, there's exit, the exit. And then there's the glass. Exactly. This thing is such a badass combo too. Like I'm I'm in love with your shower. Right well, now. here's the thing. The toilet is actually um, for uh, the toilet is basically there is 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 has a retractable roof. Mm-hmm. So basically, you go around around the the shower is kind of on the right when you walk into the bathroom you keep walking you passed it and there's the toilet and you can you you get on the toilet and you are actually the toilet is facing the same way the toilet has a retractable roof like fully open air fully open air so you can be taking a dump you can be taking and a, a dump. bird can shit on your head yes the cycle yes. is completed yes. fist bump all the way Bam. outside all the way outside okay. and so you're that actually cool getting though. fresh air when you're dumping I love that too. And it's like I, shitting on a boat. It oh, dude, it feels so like shitting outside feels better. It just does. Uh, and some, your house is so big that yeah. even the people like that are on the football field or in the dirt bike track, they still can't hear you pooping. No, they can't hear you pooping. They, they can't hear you. Pooping. You're so far away. No, they can't. They can't hear you pooping. And it's it's open air. And is there so a bidet it, in that toilet too? Yeah, there's a bidet yeah, in every toilet, you. dude. Thank there's, you, by there's, the there's way, a, there's a, yeah, no, no, we're you know what I mean? We're adults. Like, yeah, I, I know. It's dope. It's you, like in your house, your fantasy house. I can have a like bidet in. It's not an toilet. automatic bidet, bidet, but it's there's a bidet in the toilet. You know what I mean? Like, cause come on, and again, you know. Okay, this is going to be kind of wasteful, but you wipe your ass with silk toilet paper. Actual silk. Actual silk. Nate, this is your fantasy house. You're yeah, allowed to be allowed, wasteful. You, you wipe your ass with silk toilet paper. Here's the greatest thing. Though. What, what's that? So you go out of the bathroom, you go back into the closet. In the back of the closet, you look around, you make sure nobody's watching you. You put your hand on the wall, mm-hmm. 
So you hear a click, and then it says password, and you give the password. Don't tell us. I'm not going to tell you. People going in, but. Door opens, and there's a fireman's pole. And you take that fireman's pole basically to the other half of that garage in the basement. Yep. And it's a game room. Awesome. It's a game room. It's uh, it's game got on. Yeah, game on the, the, the you know the basketball so this games. This is like the, la- the the last great room yeah. you're gonna show me right now before yeah. I leave. Is yeah. the game room? The game room. What's your game room like? Tell me, describe this place to me okay. visually, and then tell me individual about all the appliances and trippy games. Okay, so first of all, you drop down into the game room, and the th- and the, a voice says before a door opens because you're still in the dark, and the voice says, "Are you ready?" And you have to say yes. Yeah, yep. Yeah, ready. And then it Ready opens player, up, uh, Juan. and then it is like walking into happiness. Okay, it is like Disneyland for both children and adults. But this <laughs> is my game room. Oh, so, I'm so there are video games like oh, stand up console, like stand up video games. Yeah, all on 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 the walls. And this is a big again. This is a big room. I'm thinking of that Queen song right now. Don't stop me. Yeah. Yeah. Like just all excited. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm on that should be playing. That should be playing. I can't even I'm pick which game to start with. Okay. Oh no, because yeah, all these old school stand up video games are lining the walls. How's it lit? Is it just recessed lighting in here as well? No, no, no. What? This is game room light. I mean, I the light. Here's the thing. I can change the lighting whenever I want. I can make this. It's almost like I can. Like, but what are the lighting fixtures? What do they look like? The lighting fixtures are all from the ceiling um most of them for the ceiling there's there's a couple like lights on tables mm-hmm. around like lamps on tables, like lamps on tables kind of things but okay. for the most part all the lights are are from the ceiling they're all uh like stage light things yeah, yeah. so you can ch- i can change oh, the colors yeah, yeah. yeah i can change the with colors gels on them and yeah do so with gels on them. i can change the colors i can make it flash them i can make them into a disco you know what i mean into i don't know what's why the flooring it. like the flooring is basically it's all uh Old school video arcade, uh, oh, cool. video cool. arcade that video arcade carpet. Yeah, it's all that. Cool. It's, it's all oh, that. Yeah. It's all that. You got pool tables down there. Um, you got you got uh, like a two lane bowling alley. Oh kinda. yeah. Uh, I got uh, like I said, video games all along the wall. The old school games, the new school games. I got Dance Dance Revolution. I got the shooting games. I got. Um, uh, the the football game where you th- actually throw the football and I got a pitching game that I uh, that where you actually throw a pitch on a backdrop and you're actually trying to strike out like 3D models of people. Oh yeah. Um, and uh, Do you have any race car games where you get to drive? Yes. Drive? Yeah, yeah, I got. I, 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 I was getting. Yeah, I was getting to that. So basically, on the back wall is all the simulators. Yes. There's dartboards down there. There's fucking. Uh, and there's a dartboard. Yeah, there's dartboards down there, and uh, there is. A bartender down there. There's a bar. You know, there's an open open bar. Where nobody pays for drinks at my house. Let me house. get a whiskey real quick. Go ahead and get your whiskey. Get a whiskey. Get your whiskey. Uh, and we on the rocks. Splash of water, please. More water. High end whiskeys. One more splash of water. One more splash. Okay, one more splash. One more splash. There you go. Thank you. I and like this is delicious. Is it delicious? Oh yeah. I have a virtual bartender though. What does that mean? My bartender's a, a robot. AI. Yeah. Makes perfect drinks. Perfect drinks. What's its name? Was it? What's th- Herb? Herb the AI. Yeah, he'll even give he'll even give you small small talk. Like he's not he's not the you know I mean like he's not he's not gonna pack the touring test or anything like that. But he will be able to give you a little bit of a little bit of badass b- jibber well, jabber back and forth. Thanks for the drink, Herb. That was great. Yeah, you're welcome, sir. Oh, that's awesome, Mr. Shevsky. Oh, dude. Yeah. And now you can go sit on one of the plush uh, chairs, mm-hmm. or you can sit on you can sit in uh, in front in the front row of the small stage that we have set up for private comedy shows and private burlesque shows. Oh, I love it! Yes, I love it. And that's my game room. I love it. Dude. And then you uh, exit through the gift shop. So you can do you can do you can do comedy in there. Yes, you can do comedy. It's set it's set up, like I said, it's set up for like private shows. Like if I want to have like you know I, I fucking like we're all huge at this fucking time. We're like all right, man, we're gonna fucking put on a show, for for just you know a hundred people, fifty people. It's a private comedy show. Come down here. Let's tell some fucking jokes. You I know love what I mean? It, Nate. And they got fucking cameras up so people could film their specials at my house oh, and shit. I love it. Yeah, dude, your fantasy house. Is badass. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. No, dude, thank oh, you for having killer. me. Dude, I, 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 I really... 
the the funny thing is, is that a lot of this I thought of like in the last couple of days. Yeah. But the rooms that I really like, I've always wanted that garage, and I've always wanted that um, that office. You can have a lot of this stuff, mate. I can have it. I'm gonna get that fucking. I'm gonna get that office one day. I want to be surrounded by stars. Uh, Nate, where can people find you? Uh, fucking, I don't know. Insta, you know, Insta, Instagram, Instagram. What's your What's your handle? Tell, tell them uh, your handle. Nathan Heard Comedy, N A T H A N H U R D, and then if you don't know how to spell comedy, uh, I'm sorry. That was very condescending. It really listeners. was. Our listeners are great spellers. That's one thing. I'm not, and that's why I made the joke. That's, I, I was Chef's presumptuous. Yeah. I'm a dick. Uh, no, it's all good. <laughs> uh, so that's that's Instagram. What about Twitter? Uh, Twitter, I'm at the Herd. Uh, T H E H U R D. Thank you so much for doing this today, Nate. Thank you, this man. So much love fun. you, God. I love you too, man. It's fucking awesome. I love you too. Guys, thanks for listening. Be silly and have fun. You can follow me on Instagram uh, at uh, John Chesky, J-O-N-S-H-E-F-S-K-Y, uh, because I love you guys. Guys, thank you so much for listening. Can you do me a favor and take your finger and click the share button and share this with somebody that you know that you think would like this, a designer, a comedy fan, an architect, Someone that's just looking for a way to get creative that's working on their house. You know, any of those good things. Share this right now. I would really appreciate it, and I'm sure they would really appreciate it. Also, if you could leave us a five-star review and actually write something cool like, Fantasy House changed my life. I was about to stop listening to podcasts, but then I heard Fantasy House, and I'm just rejuvenated. Be silly and have fun, guys.